today we celebrate the legacy of the First Lady of the Civil Rights Movement. And as a person that's not only a relative, but living in San Bernardino County, this is indeed an honor. There are not too many places that have statues of Cousin Rosa Parks, and to have one right in my backyard is just amazing. And it's so nice to know that I can bring my son to see her, I can tell my friends where they can come and see her, and I just couldn't think of just the most appropriate place for her statue to be. But it's not just me, it's every other little girl, a person of color, who goes out there and they think they can't make their way. And they look at Rosa Parks and think, wow, she is a woman and she took this stand. I can take a stand too. I think that oftentimes we forget that it takes one person to begin a movement. It took her to begin that movement. So there's great power in one. We have to stand up and we have to realize that our actions do have wonderful consequences when we do it for the right reason. She's a hero, a heroine, I guess, and that uh, that's what the world needs is more people to uh, um, who lead by example. When people think of Rosa Parks, they think of the day that she gave up her seat in the bus and they think of the bus boycott, but they never know what happened after. I want America to know that she is a three-dimensional character. There's more to Rosa Parks than what we've ever learned.